All right, on tonight's episode of Python Poppy, we're back inside our artificial intelligence course, and we're still doing the optimization module. Let's have a look at what we went over tonight. Now, last night, if you recall, we left off going over our AC3 CSP, and we're going to pick up what we left off from there. So let me just give you a quick overview from last night. Is the AC3 takes a constraint satisfaction problem and enforces all consistency across the entire problem. That's what we left off. So we're going to pick up here. So we'll go ahead and start with a queue that contains all of the arcs in the constraint satisfaction problem, all the edges that connect two nodes that have some sort of binary constraint between them. And now, as long as the queue is non-empty, there is work to be done. The queue is all of the things that we need to make all consistent. So as long as the queue is non-empty, there's still things we have to do. What do we have to do? Well, we'll start by dequeuing the queue, removing something from the queue. And strictly speaking, it doesn't need to be a queue, but a queue is a traditional way of doing this. We'll dequeue from the queue, and that'll give us an arc x and y. These two variables where we would like to make x arc consistent with y. So how do we make x arc consistent with y? We can do this by just using the, re the revise function that we talked about a moment ago. Let me give you a quick look at the uh, pseudo code that we have to start writing for this actual AC3. This is the pseudo code right here we would be using. We have the function AC3 CSP or the constraint satisfaction problem. We have the Q here with all of the arcs in the CSP. And while the Q is empty, then we have X and Y. We would DQ the Q from the Q. If revised, CSP X and Y. If the size of X is zero, we return false. That means if nothing is in X, there is nothing we can do with X. So we have false. And then for each Z in X dot neighbors, we will take away Y or we will leave Y alone because we already handled Y. And for that instance, we do an NQ. That's when we add something to Z. Z is the neighbors for X. That's why we have ZX here. So we would add something to X because we have something in this neighbor Z. And then we will return true. Now, I know that sounds like a lot right now. I didn't read everything for you and go over every detail with you. But I'm still going to keep you guys posted every step of the way. So you keep up with me and uh, maybe you'll pick up the bits and pieces as we go along. But for now, this is the Python Poppy. You guys stay Gucci.